previously on Stoner's Kitchen. We are on location for Mardis Gross. We're going to actually do the traditional crawl dad boil. Terry, we're not using gasoline. <laughs> and heavily dose the cylinder. It's not, it's just gonna... In, in the, in the oh. cylinder, yeah. Okay. Alright, usually you wouldn't want to splatter a lot over here because, remember, supervision is always a pl safe... Terry? <laughs> Take in the smoke. This is great. This is fresh and dooly sausage. Oh, some and do Terry? Ah. No, that hurt, right? Can we get the nurse? And it keeps them out of New York City. Terry? No. Terry? No. Can I get a medic? And soon we will be adding that to our crawl dad boil. Okay. So join us next for our next installment of crawl dead boil. Oh, now our enduli is done. Oh, and Terry, are you okay? I, 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 I just need a band aid. Just a band aid? All right. So all right, we're Terry's gonna get the pot for us. Go get the pot, Terry. No, 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 Terry. The pot for the boil. The big pot. Put the crawdads in. All right. Yeah. You know, sometimes Terry needs a little shot. Here's Terry with the pot. And we're going to bring it up to temperature. Up to temperature means 212 degrees because that means boiling. And special seasoning. And sometimes the seasoning isn't exactly what you want, but hook. Uh, Alright Terry? Uh -uh. Okay, you go talk to mom about that. I'll, I'll be back. Anyway, we're bringing this up to temperature. 212 degrees, boiling. Terry's on a break. <clears throat> Alright. What we're going to do now is we're going to add the potatoes to the rolling boil water. Terry, put the potatoes in. Or you could put them in all at once. Ah, or you get your beans. Suck the trucker. Twice it looks like. <laughs> huh. That was Cajun Carl. He's the expert. He's the crawl dad aficionado. Like I said, you can put them in all at once or as Terry does, independently. Uh, uh. As the potatoes go in and the splashing stops, I'm going to add some spices. Now, you can have hot sauce. You, you can have garlic, pepper, hot pepper, or you can have this wonderful Cajun spice. This makes it give an all-around effervescence into all of the veggies you're going to cook. So, we're going to add some soon. That water is hot. As 
you can see, I added some spice. <laughs> it's got a nub on it. Oh. It's here. Let me. See. <laughs> Darius enjoying Narlins. Uh, uh. You almost got all tennis in, Terry. I'm working on it. I got put to it at time. Alright. <laughs> Two more. Alright, all the potatoes are in. Now I'm gonna add a little more spice. And let them boil for about 10 Bang. minutes. Bang. Alright, you know a plastic bags where it says do not put in cribs or play pens or oh just don't let kids play with them? This is why. It is a danger. I'm letting you parents know right now. You could suffocate your child. That's what happened to Terry. I fell, I fell down the stairs. We'll be right back in a few minutes to add our next ingredient. Man, I got you some muscles where hair is what I got you. This oh. is what you got to have for a real problem. Oh, right. We got some fresh Louisiana muscles. Hey, my state. Oh, those are going to go in next. And some corn, and we have mushrooms, and we have shrimp. Now, basically, oh, any bowl you have can have almost anything you want to have in it that will boil and you can eat it. Right now we're bringing everything back up to boil. We add a next ingredient and bring it to boil and then the next ingredient and then we bring it to boil. 212 degrees is boiling for each ingredient. Potatoes first and then we add a dually sausage and then we'll add corn of the cob. I, 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 I put the sausage in there. Sausage is already in there. Way to go, Terry. Awesome. And then we got Cajun Carl coming down for his little check off. First of all, you gotta have a good beer. Do no call bad ball about no beer. So. Would you suggest you add beer to the crowded boil? Wait a minute now. Are you Terry or Barry? Oh, I'm Barry. I don't know this fucker. I don't know. We're probably something said about it. Well, we are in the south. It's okay. Don't give me a sniff. We're going to do a little snifferoonie of uh, what we got going so far. I dare to get ball right there, boys. Casey Cole says that's a good boil, and we are on our way. Terry is opening up the corn. We're going to give about five more minutes, and we will start adding multiple ingredients. And basically, it's going to be a big surprise when you see how we present this presentation. Huh. Corn, corn works good because you can tell it, when you eat it, it tells you how long it takes to digest because they're poop tracers. <laughs> it killed me. I, I got a question. Is he retarded? Huh. We're both retarded. I'm not, I, I'm not old enough to be retarded. I, I, I try to get Social oh Security. Oh my god. And they said no. But I tell you what, we are we are re relaxed. Terry, tell them how re relaxed you are. This got strength in it. Well, what corn does, Terry? Wait, we put this in now. We will put it in. Eventually. Mom said I could be in charge every once in a while. Alright Terry, 
You're in charge of the core. Touch my core. Let's do a check. We're going to put on our nifty crawd admit. And we've got safety togs. Stand back because the steam can vaporize your face. So we've got andouille sausages. That was poop. And potatoes. Whoa, that's hot. In just a few minutes, it'll be bringing back to a boil and we'll add more ingredients. That was poop. We got shrooms! Hey! We've got garlic. We can't forget garlic. It's the most essential flavor for a boil. But it, 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 it. Watch this, Jerry. It keeps vampires away. You'll be safe. It'll be okay. Mom said you couldn't touch me anymore. Like that time she caught us in the room and you. We're adding a little garlic. Now you can add some garlic and we're gonna add extra garlic because we like it really garlicky. So just take an average head of garlic and then start breaking it up and adding it to your boil. That's a nice little flavor enhancer. Oh, now we've added corn. I like the way you cook. Is that five pounds of dads there? Yep, you need to open up. First of all, you need a razor knife because it's touch tight. By the way, Katie and Carl does it. All right. Yeah, this is why I work out. I, I just got here and I have one done. <laughs> What are you doing there, boy? And the crawdads. Put the dads in now. Dads in and then the shrimp. All right. Now we got the crawdads and the shrimp in, along with the mussels, the mushrooms, and the corn. Well, it would be just moments before we have a delightful feast. Let me tell you something, boys. You guys get down here, bring your fancy TV studio down to Sasquatch your balls, turn you on to some snack. I, I seen I seen a snipe hunt movie and it it's no, it scared me because they got it, it was like <laughs> He does a damn good job of imitating a turkey. Now Snipe, on the other hand, they to kill you. We have one, 15 feet tall. I heard they're really delectable. If you cook them right, they got to be cooked over a hot fire, long time, good eat. There's nothing, to, nothing, and it's not goes to waste. Alright, give me a give me a one of these uh crawdads. I'll show these folks at home how to eat a crawdad. First of all, you let it cool down. Then you grab a whole tub of my tail and you twist. I like to pull off a couple of shells, move these dog legs in the way. Pull out the meat just like this. Remove the old poop shoe. Pop it in your mouth. Now that's good eating right there. We ready to throw this out on the table, boys? There you go, that's a crawfish boil. Take it Carl style. These stoner boys, I'll see you next time here on Stoner's Kitchen. Goodbye from the bayou.